Hello there, uh, Dr. Mike here, and today I will demonstrate a, uh, a round lead ball load for 45 Colt. We will be using a, uh, a lead round ball from Hunter Supply. See them right there. They are 143 grain. Uh, we have our cases. We're going to do five of them. They've been cleaned and prepped. We'll be using CCI primers, large pistol. There are number 300 primers. And we're gonna, since we're using lead and it's a, a cowboy load, we're going to use Trail Boss. Trail Boss is excellent for lead loads, lead bullet loads, and uh, it essentially uh, is a lower density powder. Takes up more space <clears throat> in the case. We're also going to use wads, fiber wads, to keep the powder in close proximity to the primer flash hole. That will help to ensure that the powder charge ignites uniformly and um, at the same time. As far as our die dies and press, I have a Lee turret press, which I really like, and the Lee four die set. Now, because I'm going to be placing the fiber wads, we uh, I removed the rod from the turret press, and we're going to be using it single stage. It's just going to facilitate things um, much better. Now first a little talk about safety. Uh, we always have to keep in mind the safe reloading practices. So we want to work in an uncluttered area, free of debris and unnecessary items. Uh, we want to wear safety glasses. and. Uh, we want to follow the manufacturer's recommendation for the powder loads and charges um, for the given bullet that we'll be using. And I strongly recommend that you research and come up with a load that's safe and best suits your needs. This is for demonstration purposes only. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, we are going to decap and prime the cases. Let's see if we can get a closer shot. And I do have a Lee Auto Prime uh, system. I will not be using that today uh, just because sometimes in my hands it's just easier just to place the primer in the primer arm by hand, especially for only five rounds. Okay, so our cases have been resized and have the primers in place. The next step 
is going to be to flare the case mounts and place the powder charge. So I'm going to rotate by hand the turret to the flow through uh, powder die and we're going to use the Lee dipper. This is a 1.3 cc dipper and I have verified these charges to be 4.3 grains ahead of time uh, with my electronic scale. There's number five. We're going to place the unused powder back in the powder container. I use, uh, having a chemistry background, I like to use glassware associated with chemistry. Uh, it actually fits the bill nicely. Okay, the next step is going to be to place the fiber wads over the powder charge. As I said, that will keep the powder charge in close proximity, close proximity to the flash hole. And all we have to do is start the wad into the case. And then I'm going to depress these with my handy dandy Harbor Freight ratcheting screwdriver. This head is just the right diameter to safely push the wad into place. We don't want to compress the powder. We just want to barely touch the powder. To get the job done. Now, these 143 grain 45 Colt lead round balls have a flat spot where the sprue uh, was and was removed and we're going to place those downwards towards the fiber wads. There they are, and now we're going to seat the bullets. Okay, now we're going to seat the bullets. Okay, I have the press rotated, and we're going to seat these bullets to right about the midpoint. close look right there. Okay, and then we're going to uh, put a crimp. Okay, and that's what the finished product looks like. So let's just get the other four completed.
And here's the number five. Okay. There you have it. There are five rounds ready for the range. So we'll stop here and hopefully I'll be able to get a few shots, uh, no pun intended, at the range. Okay, so here we are at the range. I have a sighting target set at 25 yards, which may be a bit ambitious. We're going to be using the Bond Arms American Defender Derringer. As you can see, there's a very little muzzle rise and very little recoil with these loads. Now for comparison's purpose, comparison purpose, we're going to try a uh, two rounds of 410 Remington rifled slug. Back for you. As you can see there's quite a bit more recoil and muzzle rise. Let's take a look at the target. And there you have it. 45 Colt, lead, round ball, 143 grain reloads. Thanks for watching.